Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to use GitHub Action Secrets in your Python scripts in three steps. The concepts I'll be explaining will work for any Python script. GitHub Action Secrets are used to store sensitive information in your repository. Passwords, usernames, or anything that should be encrypted and not visible in any logs or in the actual code. Um, for example, if you go to Visual Studio Code, I have a file here called main.py. That's just going to list 20 songs by the band Weezer. Um, by making a request call to the Spotify uh, music library. Uh, I have a username and password here that I want to add to the code, but if I share my code with other developers, I don't want people knowing what these values are. That's where secrets come in. Um, so step one, to create a secret, go into your repository, click on settings, go to actions, or go, sorry, go to secrets, click on actions, and then click on new repository secret. On and the actual value, like the password or whatever you're going to use. If you see here, I have two called client ID and client secret that are all capitalized here, all in uppercase. Um, second step is to create environment variables in your GitHub workflow file referencing these. So if we go to the code here, I have a workflow file called runpython.yaml, and we're going to add environment variables listed here. So you add this environment piece here, this env, and then in here you, you name the variables. So I'm going to name client ID, client secret, um, to then reference the secrets, use this dollar sign, bracket, bracket, make sure there's a space, then secrets, dot, and then the name of the secret, remember that was all uppercase there, another space, bracket, bracket, same thing for secret here. Then this has just one job where it checks out the code, which is important in order to be able to use and run the Python script. Um, it set up the Python version of 3.11, and then we run the Python script. Um, so set three is to update your Python script. So now if we go back to Visual Studio Code, I have an updated file called main dot, updated main.py. And the first step is just going to up, you're going to import the operating system here, uh, this OS module. And then you can create your variables with whatever environment variables you want to use. We just have client ID and client secret. Then we're going to use the os.environ method to grab those names. So these are the names that we use in our actual YAML file and our run Python script. Um, client ID and client secret. Then you just add these new variables that I created into the code and you can use it. And if you see here, I'm even going to try printing out what the client secret is and you'll see what it looks like in the logs that it's still encrypted. So if we go back and we actually run this, you'll see that 20 Weezer songs were printed out just like we wanted to, so we can still use those secrets. Um, and the client ID is still asterisk, so it's still encrypted, uh, but you're still able to use it um, when you wanted to in the code. So thanks everyone for your time. That's it.